Okay, so it's April and I have a really important question for you. How are your New Year's resolutions going? I mean, like really what I'm asking about is, how's your diet, how's your health plan working out at the moment? If it could be better, you're watching exactly the right video at exactly the right time because we're about to get it right on track for you. So before we do that, let's talk about how it gets off track in the first place. Having helped over 10,000 people in over 20 countries around the world radically change their relationships with food, I've made a couple of interesting observations. One of them is this that the food industry is clearly far more interested in their own profitability than they are on your experience of life or your health. And so as a consequence, since you were very small, the food industry has been conditioning you. They've been running advertisements designed to get you to eat for emotional reasons rather than nutritional ones. They've been adding ingredients to the food that are designed to make their foods irresistible or even addictive so that the choice isn't even yours. So this has been going on since you were small. In fact, your parents were part of it. They didn't know. Your school was part of it. They didn't know. And even the government was part of it. They knew, but they did it anyway. And so. That's one of the things we need to understand in order to really begin to make a change. The other thing we need to understand is that the diet industry itself isn't really serving us in a lot of ways because what happens is that most people are frankly a little malnourished. They're missing really important nutrients and they're overeating. And so if you then suddenly take those people and say, hey, you need to eat less, you need to cut calories and make it really complicated, then they end up feeling like they're starving to death. And then they suddenly give up on their quote diet instantly and they go into full relapse mode, which is why most people gain weight every time they go on some kind of a diet. The diet industry is letting us down as well. What I want to share with you is that over the last five, six years, we've helped thousands and thousands of people in over 20 countries around the world master their relationship with food. My name is Eric Edmeads. I'm the founder of WildFit, and I'd like to do the same thing for you. For the last five years, if you wanted to experience WildFit, there was only one way to do it, and that was do our full 90-day program, and I'd love for you to do that one day. What we've done recently, is distill the key psychological principles that make the Wild Fit 90 program so effective and turn it into a 14-day food reset so that starting tomorrow, you can immediately begin to change your relationship with food. Let me ask you an important question. Don't you think it would be easier for you to stick to your ideas, to stick to your diet plan if you wanted to? Uh, let me say it another way. One day, a client of mine walked up to me and said, you know what, I'd love, I'd love, I'd love to learn more about WildFit, but I just don't wanna do it because I find diet programs restrictive and I'm really into freedom. And I said, well, what, what is freedom to you? And he says, well, freedom is, is that I can eat what I want, when I want, as much as I want, with nobody telling me what else to do. And I said, that's what I want for you. But my real question is, can you not eat what you don't wanna eat when you don't really wanna be eating it? And that confused him, but then he got it. It wasn't really a choice for him. If there was suddenly free food available, he had to eat it, even if he wasn't hungry. Or if he was at a friend's house and they had made something for him that maybe wasn't ideal, he would have to eat it. Or simply if pizza showed up, he just was powerless over pizza, he'd have to eat it no matter how full he was. And I think that many of us have situations like that where we have the best intentions, absolutely the best intentions to turn things around and then stuff happens. Look, a 100 years ago, heart disease and cancer weren't even in the top 10 killers in our world. They weren't even in the top 10. Now, they comprise 66% of all death of people in the Western world. It is tragic. It is absolutely tragic. And what I would love, what I would love is to share with you some of the principles we've learned that can help you to change your relationship with food so that you don't have to rely on willpower to force yourself into dietary change, where you can create a lifestyle that you enjoy living, that you feel wonderful about, and that you feel juiced about every single day. Instead of the traditional diet world where you walk past stuff and go, oh, I wish I could have that, or I feel like I'm in such denial. What if, what if instead you were able to, like, not even notice that that stuff was there because it stopped even feeling like food to you. Look, at the end of the day, people are gonna eat what they want to eat. And what I wanna do is show you how to change what you want. Get you to a place where you don't even really want the stuff that you know is dysfunctional or you don't want it so often so that you have control over it. We're talking about food freedom. Join me for 14 days and let's change your complete health destiny. Give me 14 days and let me give you food freedom. Wild fit is not a diet. Wild fit is a way of life.
I cannot say enough about the WildFit program. It brings you the confidence to live the life you want to live. Definitely, it's something to try out. I'll look at cakes, I'll look at chips, I'll look at burgers, and I'll be like, I just don't want that. And before, I would have just been like, that would be the only thing I would order on a menu. 15 pounds fell off. That never happened before. 15 pounds fell off, but not because it was a diet. It was because I was running a new life. Be able to see the other people that were on the calls uh, every week was just so supportive and really motivated me to stay with the program. I had my own little wild fit community, my own little wild fit tribe. Eric was friendly, he was personable, he was approachable, and he made it seem so easy. My outlook is once again, it was just like getting a shot of positive attitude and embracing life again. I'm a wild fitter for life, I'm committed to it. I think it's amazing. Eric, I love you, bro. Thank you.